everyone. I'm here again to talk about another bag. This is the book bag from Saddleback Leather. And currently it's um, clipped onto the medium simple backpack from Saddleback Leather. I have a full video in my um, YouTube, YouTube channel on this bag. So if you're interested in this, go ahead and jump over there. Um, but for now we're going to talk about this little guy. And I wanted to start the video here because I have it clipped already. I want to show you how I have it clipped. And then we'll talk about the product. And I have a couple scenarios of things that you might want to put into the bag. So let's get started. So right now I have it using my own clips. These clips do not come with the book bag. I have some clips that are attaching the two D-rings that are on back of the book bag onto these D-rings that are on the straps of the medium simple. So I use a clip to just clip the D-ring to the smaller D-ring. And the reason I have it this way is because the medium simple, though I love um, its pocket options, I've tried the front pocket backpack, and um, I wasn't always filling all the pockets. It's a long story. I have a video on that too if you want to check it out. I just like putting this book bag on this backpack because when I travel, I like having a smaller bag that I can just take if I'm going to a cafe and back. I don't need a big backpack, it's not a big commitment. But when you're traveling, there are two things that I always want to be able to reach for, and I can't actually do that with the medium simple because of the pocket options. And those two things are my iPad mini and some Bose headphones. So if I were to be on a plane, this would be my carry-on, and I would have, um, I can show you. Open this buckle closure. And this is tobacco, by the way, I don't know if I said that. Uh, and you can see that I have two items in here. I actually put my Bose headphones in um, a soft pouch. I know it comes with a hard case, but I like uh, the smaller size that the Bose can actually fit in. And these are the noise, uh, noise silencers. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I can leave a link below. All right, let's throw that out of the way. And my iPad mini. And this is in the Saddleback Leather iPad mini case. This is the dark coffee brown. Um, anyway, so it's good to know that the iPad mini can fit in the book bag in a saddleback leather case because the saddleback leather case adds a significant amount of uh, protection to the iPad mini, but also it adds to its dimensions and size. So now the bag's empty. I just thought this book bag attached to the simple would be something um, convenient. I wouldn't have to open up the flap and get all in there. All right, so I'm going to remove... Hopefully I can do this on camera. I'm going to remove the book bag from the simple. Again, I didn't, it doesn't come with its own clasps to do this. So don't be writing me saying, Janae, you said it could work. And the clasps I'm actually using are from a Saddleback leather product. Um, the envelope clutch. And... That's a whole different video. I haven't videotaped it yet. But if you subscribe, you'll be notified of that. But this is the wristlet that comes with the envelope clutch from Saddleback Leather. Just put it over there. All right, say bye to this. Again, you can see a video on that in my channel. Um, all right, let me look at my notes. Where do I want to start? Let's go over the just the bag overview, um, just so you know what to expect. It does come with a strap, and this strap is actually pretty great. It's a little bit thicker this way than the um, large hobo strap, but it's not as thick as the straps that come with the medium and large satchels. So it's just kind of right in the middle, um, adjustable, not too long because this bag does not go in backpack mode, so they didn't need to make the strap super long, and uh, yeah. Pretty standard. I can actually, should I do that now? Why not? I'll stand up and show you what it looks like on me. I am 5'5", five five and obviously I'm a woman, but this bag I think was designed for men and women. Um, and if you want to, I was thinking of posting more pictures on my Instagram of my friends that are guys wearing this bag so men out there can kind of see doesn't actually look like a purse. It looks like a very rustic book bag. So here it is on my shoulder. I'm sure my head's cut off right now. That's okay. 
Here it is crossbody. And uh, I'm 5'5". Five five. And uh, I kind of just went more grungy look today so you could see. It's not very feminine. The large hobo purse is feminine. And this one I don't think is. Um, the book bag and tobacco. And yeah. And it's super comfortable on your shoulder. There's no buckles up here. Okay, now that I'm going to sit down, we will go over the specs. If you don't mind, I'm going to take the straps off just because they're kind of in my way of talking. <laughs> okay, so the specs on this bag, um, Saddleback Leather, 100 year warranty, full grain leather. This is the color tobacco. Um, actually, looking at this color tobacco and this one, this bag is about seven months old and this one's brand spanking new. And Saddleback has switched to a darker tobacco. But really the shades are varying when you get a bag. Um, some of my bags are coming out dark, some are coming out like more of this hmm, yellow family leather instead of this red family of leather. Uh, so I don't know how to advise you on getting the exact color you want. Maybe you could call customer service before you order. Uh, I like tobacco no matter what color. I'm always happy when it's tobacco. All right, and then uh, the weight of this bag is 1.65 pounds. Uh, the external dimensions are nine and a half wide by seven and three fourths high by two, excuse me, two and a half deep. And I wanted to mention those dimensions because there is a cable bag out there that is from Saddleback Leather, and those dimensions are seven wide, six and a fourth high by two deep. So, um, when you're looking at their website, there's lots of bags that kind of seem similar, but this one's going to be the largest pouch version. Um, I think the next step above this would be the tablet bag, and then the small satchel, and I could go on. I don't know why I know so much about this company, but I do, and I'm okay with that, if you are too. All right, it retails for $139. Um, the strap I said was really comfortable. And it has a back pocket, and it's actually quite easy to get in here. I don't feel like it's as tight as some other bags they've had. Um, and let's see, oh, I also like that it can stand on its own. Is it not going to do it for me now? Shoot, maybe I shouldn't say it stands on its own. But it has a base in the sense that if there's a couple things in here, let's try it later, that it will stand on its own. Um, the buckle has a couple different straps. It gets all the way down here, so you can really, even if it's really full, you could still buckle it. But one really, really cool thing that I'm kind of excited because I think more of their bags are going this direction is the pigskin lining. It used to be kind of a harder plastic, not plastic, excuse me, oh my goodness, not plastic. It had a plasticky feel, but now they're switching to this pigskin lining that's suede. Is the camera catching this texture? Maybe I'll even hold it close. Let me know when it goes in focus. Anyway, it's a little bit darker than their pigskin lining from before. Um, does this will it have it? Hold on. This might not be helpful, but it might. Oh, yeah. This is the long trifold wallet. Somebody wanted a review on this one, so I'll get that going for you here soon. Can you see the differences in the texture? So this is kind of where they're heading for their pigskin lining which I'm always on board. I don't really complain much about that company ever. I seem to be always okay with their decisions. Um, I've drank the Kool-Aid, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's talk about what it can hold. And I have a couple different scenarios because depending if you're a man or a woman, you might be carrying something different. And to start, let's do uh, two six by nine books. So these are two devotions that I've been going through on my own every morning and they're really awesome. Let me know if you want to know what the actual names are, what they're about. But I'm just going to show you how two 6x9 soft cover books can fit in here. I'll put them one at a time. This is a pretty standard size, size for a book, I would think. And I think that's why this bag was created, was so Dave could read certain books, grab his wallet and keys and go. So here's Two books in there. Um, you can see there's a little bit more room, but I wanted to leave room for my cell phone, which I'm using to record me, 
and like a wallet. And so here's like a bifold wallet that would be a men's wallet and uh, you can easily put it in the pocket back here and uh, your cell phone could fit here. Oops, I saw the camera move just now, sorry. Uh, you could put your phone here and possibly your keys. And also I didn't put anything there, but this is pretty full for two six by nine books. All right, so leaving, let's see what it will look like for, okay, let's do this. Uh, six by nine book again with the iPad mini and a saddle black leather case. So that's what it looks like. A little bit more room for your phone, wallet and keys, not much more. And, and these books are like, how many pages? 370 is one of them. And yeah, 300. So maybe that helps. So, I'm sorry, I'm getting warm. It's a warmer day here in St. Louis. Now let's move on to moleskins. These are moleskines, however you want to say it. I'm going to put, can she do it? Put four moleskins in here. I don't know who owns four moleskins and is going to a coffee shop, but again, this is good for scale and reference uh, for your own use at home. So I know I was starting with, you know what I keep forgetting to do? Guys, look, there's this great pocket, and it's a little bit Let's see, am I doing this right? It's a little bit softer. It's a little bit softer. See how it's floppy? But this is a suede pigskin as well. So uh, even if you have a couple books here, you can put the smaller items and they're easy to access. <laughs> All right, one, two. Can she do three? Or can she do four? I did this before, so let's hope I can do it again. Yeah, okay, that's pretty tight, but I can do it. I guess there's a little room up here if you wanted to lay down your pocket knife. A lot of people seem to have pocket knives. I don't have one. And you can still buckle it. This is helpful? I don't know. I'm talking to myself. All right, so let me get this out. Again, it's going to be a little bit tighter but it can fit. So moving on to smaller items. Um, if you carry a lot of smaller items and you're not really interested in their other options, this might be a good everyday carry for just, here, let me show you, uh, some tissues. Oh wait, let me do it in a certain way. Uh, this is a long trifold wallet from Saddleback and it can actually stand up in there and still close a pouch. Another wallet, just for size and reference, this is the Bifold Wallet from Love41. I posted a review on this on Monday. It's Wednesday. Is it Tuesday? Oh, gosh. Guys, I don't even know what's going on. Some Altoids. And some Kleenexes. And you can actually still put your cell phone and keys I could see you laying your winter gloves or uh, sunglasses on top because there's still room. But, uh, you know, the base, the first layer is all full. And you can put your cell phone and you can put your keys and we can still close it. Yeah, we can close it just fine. And let's see, what else did I want to say? Yeah, I mentioned about this Instagram thing. I wanted to, I just, I know this bag was designed for men and women, and I think men can think, it's a purse, I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to check out my Instagram if you have Instagram. I also have a website with the same photos from Instagram. It's just, I have a website so people who don't have Instagram accounts can still see the photos. It's all in the description box. But I really want to get some of my guy friends, big, tall, short, round. I want them all to model this for you. So you can really gauge if this is for you and this is your style. All right. Da, da, da. Yeah, we just fly through this. I hope this is going to be a shorter video. So I just wanted to end it with the things that I love. The things that I love is the size. I think this is 
a size that was missing in their lineup of bags and I'm happy with it. It's light. It um, can be used in so many different ways. Uh, I really, really, really love that I can clip it onto my simple backpack. Um, that's just really nice that I can access my two favorite things when I fly, my noise canceling headphones and my iPad mini. I'm crazy about the pigskin suede. I don't know. I, I don't know necessarily how cleanable this is, but it has such a nice feel and um, yeah, I just like that. And then I mentioned Instagram like three times, didn't I? And we did it. Okay. Book bag, saddleback leather, and tobacco, and it retails right now for $139. I'll see you guys later.